basically folks being on black back here you should have a video coming down in a little bit now ba remember this shot here was from one of the video cameras and they basically keep it up there right in front of your face 24 7 the truth you'll always seek it you'll always find it it's right in front of your face all the time because people ignore it a lot okay so you had a lot of stuff on the 5th 25th and it doesn't really matter too much this stuff is always out there okay and you see that circulation circular there okay uh dark shadows between the suns the sun super giants and our sun between us and earth okay and we're just basically in a time where the idea and i even see it here on this shot okay your eyes do not de deceive you ladies and gentlemen okay so basically there are certain ones that you'll end up in a uh, duh it's always out there okay the suns those super giants okay and all the holograms that you see and basically you'll see most all this stuff uh, on the last video yes triangulations down onto space and basically mankind over time has built things okay and then people sigh up everybody they get you to follow them okay and there you go you got a diamond hitting this hitting the ground okay and then people build pyramids and then we scientifically figure out our location to a gnat's ass in the world over thousands of years and yes thousands and who knows millions of years ago okay and then generations and generations die off there are wars information gets stolen and pillaged and ruined and then mankind has to eke their way dig yourself right back up off the ground like the earth and the soil right here at this volcano okay in any other area dirt outside ladies and gentlemen you can have yourself buried you can be burnt like a viking you can do anything you want when you pee and poop your pants ladies and gentlemen and you're not alive anymore and you will die and you will never come back more than likely is there a heaven or a hell who knows do you want to find out early don't think you do i think it's everybody pretty much wants to hang around as long as they can okay so anyway more facts 24 7 data sharing so let's keep cruising through the the webcam photos and basically the last one we showed and so basically I'm gonna cut out here for now and we'll go see what we can get from some data okay folks what's gonna be seen is a tumbler okay and yes you get a nice so let's put it this way folks you believe in God you should because no matter what he's gonna let you see what's out there watch the back of the dome folks okay because no matter what, you get your flopper and your turner, okay? And the dome is not open. It's not a light from inside the dome. There's your astronomy number 101, okay? Because basically you know over years and years they're going to build a telescope where they want to see something, okay? Best view, right? Well, years and years and years ago, no matter what, even if this isn't the object, there was an object stars are concerned it's a, just a perfect position isn't it folks because it's actually rotating like a flipping movie right on the dome okay we'll let it load here folks I'm pretty sure I'm still recording hang on no advertising here folks hang on do you see what I see <laughs> in the sky in the night and there you go folks it's basically in such a good position that the back of that telescope's dome catches it rotating over okay floppity flop floppity flop okay the vehicle shows up but i'm just gonna keep on cueing it back to the, the and you see what i'm doing the left hand control okay but what you got flopping on the back of that silver dome is just like a movie projection ladies and gentlemen and like i mentioned a little bit ago uh, the world is very small, ladies and gentlemen, so I don't get into, you know, but it's one thing you don't talk about at a bar is religion, okay, and all kinds of other stuff. We all hear, we all breathe the same air, we all sling the same poop, and check that out. If that's flopping and rotating around, you get a beautiful view of our supergiant. Now, yes, the vehicle shows up, but remember, it's very low. So right now, when I keep clicking this back, you're seeing night darkness and you're seeing a flopper on the back of the flipping dome there folks you're getting a nice movie of what's up in space behind the satellite off of a flipping webcam it's a flopper just like i've showed you before in the past with the telescopes that very intelligent man and there's tons of intelligent human beings on the face of the earth folks people number one intelligent person is doesn't believe crap because most of the time 99 
99.9% of the time. There's 1% out there that knows the truth. Yep. So anyway, here we go. And we're just going to keep on, and that's it, folks. You're getting a real good view because I can just keep on popping it back. I'll let it go a little bit, and you'll get another view. And see how it gets closer whenever it's setting or rising or whatever, but it really doesn't. It looks like it just gets in closer, and then maybe it backs up, and it kind of does look like it does. Okay. Now you just watch the timers, and I'm not trying to play any tricks on your eyes. Okay. I'm just basically keeping it there so that you realize that that's what we've been seeing up there. And the asteroid belt above, and let's just let it play. Okay. There's your rotator in the night the sky. Guy, darkness, their guy comes to work or whatever, or takes one, one swaps away with the vehicle, another guy works the night. Doesn't matter. Nobody's going to mess with anybody up there at that telescope. That's for damn sure. You would not want to show up there at any 24 7, any time of the day, ladies and gentlemen, when you're not supposed to be up there viewing whatever you can see at the tip top of those viewing areas, which is still public land, and you can go up there and take a look during the daytime hours and stuff. I would not want to be up there playing around in the dark unless you're a local Hawaiian citizen. We all know the history of Hawaii in the past where people were doing stuff they weren't supposed to do. So anyway, here you go. Rotating. Rotating. There you go. You're going to get a good view. I just love the view because you can see that that's object in space, ladies and gentlemen, in the darkness of the night sky, rotating around on the back of the dome, folks, and that dome window is not open towards it. As you can see, it was over there to the other back side or to that side. And then we get, you'll see, end up seeing your asteroid belt, whatever you want to call it, out there in the sky above the dome. Beautiful positioning and other, everything all over space, your sky, and there you go. And then you get shadows from the sun during the day. But i.e., more even positive of nighttime rotator flopper of what's out there in the backside. And yes, folks, the moon, let me hit play again. As we are starting out, the moon doesn't do this, okay? It's not the moon, okay? And we know that Venus and Jupiter doesn't flip around that fast because you can see it flipping around, okay? I mean, your eyes do not deceive you, and I am not playing any flicks. Like, I give you 20, and I even make speech impediment mistakes. Because basically, I'm just going and looking at the data and sharing it with you. And there you see a flopper. Do you not? Okay. So, as NASA told you, nothing close by us. Well, close by Earth in all-time histories, yes, there are objects more and more every day right now. We are in the Big Bangs. Or Big Bang. We're in Windows, and who knows? No one ever knows because, well, that's another object. We don't know. So we got to, and then they keep on trying to figure everything out, and NASA doesn't know everything. Nobody on the earth, face of the Earth knows everything, and there you go as a flopper. This is just basically repetitive, but you have to realize. You can watch the timers. I don't play with you. This is rotating in the night sky, folks. There you go. Okay, and yes, the light to the bottom is vehicle either leaving or showing up. Don't care what time somebody goes to work and so forth and so on, but we know that that's the changing of the guard or the operator of the, of the flipping telescope, okay? That shows up in the vehicle, but this is pitch dark, okay? Pitch dark, and then it shows up, okay? So we let it play more and more, and basically you can see the video before this in any video I make, pretty much truth, data. And as you can see, the sun and the supergiants come up, and they give us our sun. And even when the sun is up, you can still even see. See it on the back of the dome? Check it lighting up the back of the dome. Even when the sun's coming up, folks, check that out. You see that? Still on the back of the dome. The dome ain't flipped the door around or anything. It's the same star cluster. More than likely, could be Pleiades. Figure it out. A smart astronomer, no BS. And what's good is everybody can contact Be No Asshole Black. Yep. Just give me a little, and there you think. And then the winners win because the idea that what's truth, 24-7, factual, no BS, that's what it'll be. And basically everybody will know it by astronomers, astronomy, astrologers. They'll nail it down. They'll know. And they'll be like, damn, that's a nice view. And we thank everybody that's together with putting the webcam back there. Webcam gives you the truth. And yes, the astronomers and astrologers are already running there. They already know that it's there. More than likely, the other 
domes more than likely were looking at this in the evening. Okay? So it's there, folks. There's a movie. Another Beano Black movie, but a thousand percent factual. As you see, there's triangulations around it. Okay? And there's also stuff that rotates around with it. And you got your clock there, I guess. We got 4 a.m. So you know it's not the sun. And it's not in the east. It's in the west. Because the sun's coming up in the east. So that's not the moon. It's not Venus. It's not Jupiter. More science, facts, and data 24-7. Bleeding right out between your eyeballs. Can you look at the screen, folks? Because that's rotating. Okay? Okay. And that's the deal. No matter the powers to be, the illumination of anything bleeds through and gives you the truth. Okay? So, you basically... GPS, you can nail that down. Well, it'd be directly in alignment with that telescope, and we can nail that. So we can know exactly, and then look up into the sky, and look up in the western sky, and above the horizon, and above Earth, and there it be... At exactly that time in earlier. And yes, folks, been showing you for a long time. There's way more than one flipping sun. Astronomers and astrologers know it. The smart ones, the ones that'll actually believe in truth. So and you got asteroid belt up there above the dome. So and you get all kinds of reflections with the sun. And in the evening time when I've showed you the other ones from the other cameras from the actual telescope. That at the time that it's around, that's not the sun in the evening hours, 1800 hours and on. Okay, so let's see what else we can throw in this video and basically just let this finish playing. And there you go. So, right at the end, let's see what we got. And then something is blaring, glaring off more than likely coming up on the back of a dome, on the other dome, probably. Since we got time to look at it, play, we'll hit play and we'll see that. And we'll hit pause. Okay, now just before we get a flash. So whether it's the moon coming up, or whether it's whatever, there's a little flash. It could be just the sun going down over the horizon, or one of the other suns that's, you know, with the sun and so forth and so on. But there you go. And then you get a triangulation. So you know they're also factually, ladies and gentlemen, you can take snapshots, blow that up. You don't have the sun. And then you can see the planets to the left also glimmering off the dome. And you get totally darkness, and you get totally visible of what everything is in the sky, folks. Just like when you have the nighttime sky, because everything is going to shine down on Earth. Okay, you don't need that crystal ball and those NASA. You get outside at night and look at everything. Okay, and when you get total blackness like this, you can really pick stuff out. So there's one of the suns of space, up by more than likely the supergiants or whatever above Earth at that time, that hour. And you can see the triangulations of whatever dead darkness is around the outside of it, that orbit with it. And you can see all the other stuff in the center above IRTF, those letters up there to the right a little bit when you go directly up. You can see all those planets, locations, and so forth, and the stars and stuff like that. Okay? So all this stuff's out there, factual, real, 24-7 data. Your eyes don't lie. Be no black. Now, folks, this is nothing new. We've seen this a long time ago. It's just the idea that no matter what, you know it's got to be closer because the idea that you see it clearer, everything in the sky, yes. Okay? And then you watch your clock for what's coming by at what time because what time is it? 2.57 p.m. in the afternoon. So you know that it's the sun or the other suns and the supergiants in the sun at about that time. You get that cluster and all this signature and stuff coming by. Okay? And then you just watch your clock for times because early a.m., which is, this is not very early a.m., and I'm just starting to watch this video now. I usually watch everything with you, but you see all the, the, the turning of whatever that object is in space there? Yes, folks, all the stuff you end up seeing through an eye, any eye, any camera, any web, it's real, as long as you don't let a human being touch it, okay? Human being touch it, you can't trust it, okay? And, oh, well, then, Vino, you know, well, I just go to the Internet like anybody else can, and these are all scientifical because every scientist around the world gets to take a little peek at what's going on in the world. They didn't put the webcam up just to see what the weather was like. Well, yes, but there's lots of reasons a webcam gets put up, okay? So let's watch this footage, and you'll see the star cluster come. Okay, the star cluster will go by, and this will stay. That will stay in position. You see that? And the rock's always there.